Today I wanted to talk about something simple. We don't always get a chance to make really long videos and put a lot of effort and time into them, but that doesn't mean we don't want to provide you with something useful every week. We're going to talk about small steps. Easy things that you can incorporate in your daily life that'll just make your journey a lot easier. Today's small steps is nutrition facts. They seem to be simple, and it's possible that you maybe already know a couple things about it. Stay tuned to the end of the video though, if you do already know about nutrition facts, because we're going to show you something maybe you didn't know. A lot of these things are going to be pretty simple to look at and understand, but sometimes the FDA likes to throw us for a loop because they're not very good at giving us everything we need to know about our diet. As a matter of fact, sometimes it seems like the things that they tell us on the back of these packages aren't really related to what we need for our diet anyways. We see percentage of daily value, but that's just for an average person. Maybe you're not an average person. And as a matter of fact, even the average person probably wouldn't do well to follow all of these. That's a little bit beside the point. We don't want to get too far or be distracted. We're going to start from the top. At the very top, you're going to see serving size. Right here at the top, you're going to see that there's about three servings per container. So even if you added up everything in here, you'd have to multiply it by three just to know how many of these that you're getting if you use the entire can. Not every Nutrition Facts label is the same. Some of them may say something completely different. For example, this bag says the serving size is a quarter of a cup. So if you were going to just use a quarter of a cup, that would be fine and dandy. Sometimes we end up using the entire package though. Maybe not on the cheese, but maybe the entire contents of a can. You'll notice on this one, it's actually very uncommon. Not only does it tell how much is per serving, it also tells how much is in the container as well, on this side. That's kind of rare though, but you don't usually see that on Nutrition Facts. Maybe the reason that you're trying to look at the Nutrition Facts to begin with is because you want to cut calories. Or maybe you just want to know how many of the vitamins are that you need in each of the products that you're eating. The macronutrients are going to be fats, carbohydrates, and proteins. You'll see some other things listed in here too like cholesterol, sodium. You'll notice on this can it also says included added sugars. We actually don't care too much for products that have included added sugars on them because that means that they're added something for taste but it's not necessarily doing very well for your diet. We like to choose vegetables that are really high in vitamins and typically we don't like to choose cans. If the canned ingredients are good then we really don't have a problem with it. Speaking of ingredients You'll notice this one right here says spinach, water, and salt. A lot of canned products are going to have salt in them, but because this only has three ingredients in it, and it's all things that we can actually say, and we understand what they are, this is actually a really good product. On this package, you're going to see a large list of ingredients. The problem with this is, is that you'll notice that a lot of the things on here, you may not even understand what they are. That's not usually a good thing. As a matter of fact, I can actually see on here, it says dextrose and cornstarch, and both of those are going to add sugars. And it may not add a lot of sugars to the product, but if it's something you're trying to cut back on, and if you're someone who's diabetic, it may not be good to choose products like that. Keep in mind that dextrose, cornstarch, high fructose corn syrup are always added to the item to make it kind of taste better, but they're not really doing much for the product itself. That's not to say that all those times those ingredients are bad. Maybe when you pick a product, keep those in mind and maybe look at those before you purchase the product. So typically, even if you know what the nutrition facts are, you might find it a little bit daunting to figure out all those numbers when you're trying to make something together. Maybe you're wanting to make chili and you have to think about all the products that are going in together. Well, it's pretty simple as long as you're trying to keep the requirements simple. If all you want to get is the calories from it, all you got to do is find where the calories are on the servings, figure out the amount that you're putting in it. For example, if you put one cup of this in there, then you only have to get 40 calories out of it, okay? And just write that down and just keep it in mind. You take all your products and you put them together, okay? You just got to add them up on a sheet of paper or something. But you put them all together on the piece of paper, you write the calories down, and you add it all up. And then, maybe you put it all into a bowl or whatever you're going to do it with, okay? And then you measure it out in scoops. You can do this in cup measurements. If you make a big pot of chili and you put all the ingredients together and it comes out to something ridiculous like 3,000 calories, 
Let's say you get 10 cups out of the amount that you make. That means that each cup that you got out of it was 300 calories each. We wanted to keep it simple in this one, but we also wanted to talk about nutrition facts a little bit later. And this way, you're ready when that happens. <music>